with a rebound. Huskers a slow start from the floor. Comes Wisconsin. Buzzman. Back out to store. Got Alec in the air. He'll launch another three and rattles his second down. We talk about him and A.J. Storr delivers. I just think the three-point line in general is going to be huge. Nebraska extremely reliant on knocking down threes in Wisconsin. They made 13 threes in the first matchup against Nebraska. Huskers are the best team in the Big Ten as far as made threes per game. 9.6. They shoot a ton, though. Alec inside for two. Can't get it to go. He thought he was fouled. No whistle. And Chucky Hepburn will bring it up the floor. But Nebraska's vulnerable to give up a lot of threes. No team has allowed more three-point field goal attempts in the Big Ten than Nebraska has. Wall getting around Alec, but the pass tipped right back to him. Wall on the baseline. Rebound, Alec for the Huskers. Rebounding been an emphasis the last couple of days in practice for Coach Hoiberg. Beautiful feed, Jamarcus Lawrence, and the Huskers on the board. It's good to see Jamarcus Lawrence get involved. They need a little bit more from their point guard. Get an assist early, get his confidence, and flow up. Buzzmith the skip out of the double to Storr. Going baseline against Alec, and that's a mismatch that Storr took advantage of. But even Klesmith posting up, they come with the double team, and Klesmith's able to spray it to the opposite side, which creates a closeout. Lawrence penetrates to the logo. That's a tough shot over Chucky Hepburn. Chucky Hepburn, one of the best on-ball defenders in the conference. It's a big-time fadeaway, so two good plays from Jamarcus Lawrence early for Nebraska. One good feed, one good shot. Four-point Wisconsin lead. There's Storr, off the bounce, gets to the elbow, and hits again. A.J. Storr is having a night already into double figures. He's got all ten Badger points and a big smile on his face. And he's done it at all three levels, a mid-range, a layup, a couple of threes. Wow. Omanaga looking for his first shot. Left that one off to the left of the rebound. Steven Crowell, one of the best rebounders in the conference, the best on this Badger team. Much improved rebounding team is Wisconsin. Step back for Chucky Hepburn. You hear the boos every time the Nebraska native touches the ball, and this is a common theme in his Wisconsin career. He's been booed by this Husker crowd, but he's fine with the boos as long as his team gets the W. No doubt about it. Fast. Off the dribble against Crowell. Alec trying to tip it out, and Klesman able to deflect it to store. Here he comes again. On the break, end to end. Can't get it to go, and the Badgers will back it out. And this is where Wisconsin will be patient. That's one of the hallmarks of Wisconsin basketball is they'll make you guard. Extra pass. Klesman, the open three. Offensive rebound, Stephen Crowell. One of the problems about trapping the post, you get caught in cross matches and can give up rebounds. Crowell, one of the best offensive rebounders in the league, and a turnover. Unforced error as Klesmit steps on the sideline. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. Against a Wisconsin team that, despite not having a field goal drop in the last 308, still maintains a 12 point lead. Yeah, the, the good is that Nebraska's tightened things up defensively. The bad is they, they still have not been able to get in any sort of offensive rhythm. I still like the shots that Wisconsin's getting. They've started to turn it over a little bit. But I, I like playing in the post to Rick Mast. There's a foul on Nolan Winter. That'll be his second, team's fourth. Coming up, stick around for the State Farm Halftime Report. We'll head back to our Big Ten Network studios in Chicago. Mike Hall and Robbie Hummel are there. And C.J. Wiltshire is there with a three in the corner. And the Huskers creep closer. Single-digit deficit now. Once down 19. Great screens in the base and out of bounds. And if you lose any airspace on these shooters, they're going to let it rip. That burn and a reach-in foul against... He's right now the front runner for Big Ten sixth man of the year. Here's Storr off the tip back wow. to him and the answer for three. What a play from Chucky Hepper. I mean, that is just a remarkable amount of body control. Yes. That's where you got to have a little bit of discipline to not leave Storr. And Williams fouled by Storr. Storr's first. Although that's the first SWAT assist <laughs> that he's had tonight. And Greg Gard cannot. 
talk about Chucky Hepburn enough and just how much of a winner he is and how he sacrificed a little bit for this team in terms of scoring and shot making to distribute the ball and elevate everybody else on the floor. The guy's just a winner. A unique thing happened today at the shoot around before the practice before tonight's game to prepare Chucky Hepburn for the inevitable booze which he has heard all night long. Yes, the entire Wisconsin team circled around him on the free throw line and booed him loud while he knocked down two free throws and he knocked them both down. That's what practice is, getting you ready for what's going to happen in the game. And they knew, based on the last couple of years, that Chucky was going to get booed a lot. There's the boo. There's Chucky. Deep two. Splashes home. Hepburn with four points, three assists, two rebounds, and that's kind of been his game all year long. The scoring's not where it's been, but it hasn't needed to be. I think the only stat he cares about is winning and these kinds of plays. A steal and a finish on the other end. Chucky Hepburn makes winning plays. He always has. High school at Bellevue West to Wisconsin. Here he is again. Unbelievable. Back-to-back -back steals. Hepburn with two more and a chance for one to add on at the line. Wow. Uh, he's one of the best defenders, and he's just doing it with intelligence, shooting these gaps for easy layups. And he's going to shortcut this one, run through it, some lazy passes out front. And what a surge from Chucky Hepburn. It started with the, the tip assist, and all of a sudden, Hepburn has taken over this game. The 2020 Gatorade Player of the Year in the state of Nebraska. Three-point play complete. A 7-0 Chucky run. And all of the excitement and energy that yeah. had been built when Nebraska got it to nine is gone in this building. 41-23 and a stunned crowd looking on. And Lawrence fouled by Hepburn. His first sixth team foul. And so the Huskers will inbound. They will get ready to go here ready in a go. moment. Wilcher contested three, but he'll hit. That's a big bucket for Nebraska. Six points off the bench for C.J. Wilcher. And they've needed it bad. One minute to go in this first half. There's Chucky again. Picked up by Mast on a switch. He'll get it back to Crowell. What a find inside for Wall. But Wall has it poked out of his hands. Wall in some trouble, and he takes a timeout. It's really hard to do, especially when you're the focal point of a scatter report in the Big Ten. Oh, Lawrence picks the pocket of Store, having a little trouble controlling the dribble. Skips it out to Tomenaga. Waits for Store to clear. The three won't go. That's the second one of those tonight that Tomenaga's had rim out. That the crowd would have erupted for. Those are about as clean of looks as Tomenaga gets as well. Six second difference game to shot clock. Winding down this first half, a half dominated by the folks from Madison. Hepburn to work. Hesitates and finishes inside. Just because he hasn't scored a lot at times this year doesn't mean he can't. Gary on the drive, he's fouled. And with three seconds to go, Jawan Gary will head to the line. And it's, it's an emotional thing. You, from this state, you come into a place that you won multiple state championships in. You have some good memories in here, and getting booed will elicit some emotion, but Chucky Ebern has certainly channeled that in the perfect way. Gary, one for two on that trip to the line. The three-quarter court heave will not go, and that's about the only thing that didn't go right for the Badgers in the first half tonight. Last year, Nebraska was down 35-24 at half, down 43-26 at 17-15 to go. They came back to win. Can they do it again tonight? Storr trying to prevent that from happening, but he misses his first shot of the second half. But again, Nebraska sticking with that double team. Wisconsin handles it, gets it to the opposite side of the floor for a wide open, clean look. Lawrence. To mass free throw line jumper is good. So a stop and a bucket. You're not getting it all back in one trip. Huskers off to a good start in the first 30 some seconds. 
And the reality is Nebraska is going to have to make some threes. They only were 3 of 11 in the first half. They lead the Big Ten in three-point field goals made per game, just under 10 a game. And if you're Wisconsin, you need to understand that and have that same attention to detail guarding the off. And a little bobble. Klesmet can't handle it. A turnover to Nebraska. Lawrence will push it up the floor. The lob intercepted right into the hands of Crowell. It'll belong to Wisconsin. I'm not sure what Demarcus Lawrence saw there, but this was a good decision from Lawrence. Just attracting multiple defenders. Good pivot to get a passing angle. And Mass knocks down the little floater. Wall. Alec trying to block him off. Got Alec in the air and put it right in over Alec. Greg Gard talked about how much better it is to get Wall on the move. So he doesn't necessarily have to just get to a wrestling match for baskets in the paint. There he's on the move for a little catch and rip drive. Just the fourth point for Wall. Mast open three, barely grazes the rim, and Wall with rebound number four. Store looking for room on the baseline. Pinballs out to Mast, and Rink Mast and the Huskers back to work on offense. Looks like Bryce Williams took a little shot to the nose. He'll walk down slowly, trying to blink that out. Wiping his nose as he comes up the floor. Here's Tominaga. The Huskers are going to come back. He's got to get involved. Mast's three rims out. And the rebound by Alec. Lawrence will try from deep. Rolls off the front of the rim. And the rebound to Crowell. Huskers cannot find the range from three. Just three of 14 from behind the arc. Those are good, clean looks. And Mast made six threes in his way to scoring 34 points against Ohio State in this building. He's gotten some clean looks and just haven't made them. 0 for 4 tonight for Mast. 0 for 3 from behind the arc for Toman. I got another Wisconsin turnover. Lawrence looking to push. Ahead it comes to Williams. His shot won't go. A lot of contact. Fred Hoiberg arguing there should have been a foul. That's that verticality though. Good job. Just I think that was Wall that went straight up on Bryce Williams. Plesman. Crowell with the double coming. Almost another takeaway. Instead, Storr puts it in. He's got 20 back-to-back 20-point games for the first time in his career. Those are the kind of 50-50 balls that Nebraska has to find a way to come up with, but instead it's Storr that grabs it and gets an open 15-footer. Tominaga can't get the three to go. 0 for 4 of the Huskers in the second half from three, and Tominaga 0 for 4 from behind the arc tonight. Those are shots that Nebraska can make. Wall will drop it off to store. Extra pass to Chucky in the corner. And the air ball caught by Tominaga. Williams against Wall. Blocked off. Bounce to Tominaga. Too strong with the floater. Nothing's working right now for Nebraska. A little frustration for Casey yeah. Tominaga. One for seven from the floor. Good movement off the ball. And a turnover by Wisconsin. Last 0 for 4 from 3. Tominaga 0 for 4. Lawrence 0 for 2. Gary 0 for 2. Wilcher will try from 3. And he'll hit. He's 3 for 3 on a night no one else can hit from range. He can't miss. And he's done a good job moving without the ball. Let's just see if Fred Hoiberg wants to ride C.J. Wilcher for this final 15 minutes. A skip to Nolan Winter, 12 to shoot. Back to Hepburn it goes with 10 on the shot clock. Five on the shot clock for Klesman. In some trouble. Off shot, rims out to Williams. Mast, fortunate to get it back. Williams in the corner for three. Back-to-back no -back triples for the Huskers. And here they come again within 12. Turnover, Nebraska will get it back. Great help rotation from Jawan Gary and to stay vertical on the attempt for Wall. Really good from Jawan Gary. Oh, 
Here's Gary. And a foul is going to be called. Back-to-back -back triples from Nebraska. When you said it earlier, Nick, they hit those shots. Yes. But they haven't tonight until the last minute and a half of this game. For the most part, Nebraska's gotten good, clean looks. But if you're Wisconsin, you got to be a little concerned that Nebraska's gotten more three-point attempts in this second half. That was something Greg Gard was really preaching, was just trying to eliminate the three-point field goal attempts. Again, no team attempts more threes than Nebraska does in the Big Ten. Nebraska, great look there from two. Just couldn't get the hook to fall. But Fred Hoiberg's not going to be unhappy with that shot. Blackwell under 10 to shoot. Back out to Store. Pepper leaving it out to Winter for three. That won't go. Gilmore battling for the rebound. Tipped out into the hands of Store. Second chance for Wisconsin. Now John Blackwell under 10 again on the shot clock. Here's Hepper using the Gilmore screen. Picked up by Wiltshire. Blackwell to the foul line. Short on the shot. Badgers two for nine in the second half from the floor. To Max. Gary driving baseline. Ten point game. An 8 0 Husker run, and here comes the crowd. Keep in mind, Greg Gard only two timeouts left, so he can't burn one. Three will quiet that crowd. AJ Store. Wow, what a shot. This place was getting ready to explode. Wisconsin has had an answer every time this crowd has tried to get into it. What a shot from Store, and that's what Wisconsin didn't have a year ago. A guy that can just go rise up and create his own shot like that. No, the key stats you talked about rebounding and turnovers. Nebraska minus 13 on the boards. They've turned it over eight times tonight. Two key stats Fred Hoiberg told us about at shoot around. Williams, he'll toe the line for a three. Hoiberg with an offensive rebound. Allen thought about it for a second. Wiltshire will try. He's fouled. And CJ Wiltshire heads to the line for three. It's something. All good shooters got to have is when team when players are going to lock and trail and get real close on you on these screens. If you just catch the ball and rise up, the momentum of the defender is going to run into you, and you can draw fouls just like C.J. Wilcher did there. That one on Klesmet his first, and Wilcher going to convert three points at the line. He is 26 of 28 at the charity stripe this year. He's had an amazing bounce back year shooting. He was 31% from three a year ago. And he's back up almost to 50% on the season now. And he really, really worked hard in the off season and it's paying off. Well, he looks like the player that a lot of people thought he would be coming out of Roosevelt Catholic High School in Jersey when he was a four star recruit. He's brought the Huskers within 10. Finds the open man Klesmet, but the Williams rebound, and the Huskers can cut it to single digits. Wiltshire looking for three. He's got it. Huskers have outscored Wisconsin 14 to 3. Badgers just one for six from the floor. And it's that three-point line has loomed really large. Wisconsin has gone cold and Nebraska's heating up. But if you're Greg Gard, you can't allow Nebraska to get as many three-point opportunities as they've got. Gary barreling inside and the foul on wall. His third. Obviously wasn't. He's hit the rehab hard. And now Gary and Wilcher. 20 points off the bench tonight. For Nebraska. They average 24 a game. There's another point off the bench. And for the first time since it was 12 6, it's a two possession game. If I'm Wisconsin, I keep playing through the post, inviting the double team. And I think you've gotten good shots when you played that way. Almost taken away by Hoiberg, harassing John Blackwell. And Alec 
gets a hand on it. Huskers take it away. Weber spinning to the rim. With his strength, fends off Blackwell and the finish at the rim, and this place is electric right now. Here's Wiltshire, the handoff to Hoiberg. Wiltshire for three. One point game. Tonight, the lead is down to one. A 20 to three Nebraska run. The Nebraska native Chucky Hepburn finally gets a bucket to drop. That stops a 12-0 spurt and extends the lead to three. And Wisconsin needs to take a deep breath. They have lost all composure on both ends of the floor here. Hey, that bucket will allow them to get their feet underneath them. Good help there from Crowd. You see that on Wilcher. He'll try anyway, and he'll shoot an air ball loose on the floor. It ends up in Alex's hands. Shot won't go, and there's a foul. And how they haven't taken care of the ball. They've had some physical practices. It's showing up here in the game. That's the beauty of depth. It's just, it gives you options. If you're needing to change the complexion of the game, time and time again, Nebraska's been able to go to their bench, and they've had it. Stoll, turn of the court. Jumper over Perry. He forced that shot. Offensive rebound, though. Carter Gilmore there to clean it up. He can't get it to fall. What an offensive rebound by Gilmore. It just wouldn't go. Klesman got to stay attached to Wilcher's body. Easier said than done. Oh, Alec almost tried to thread the needle. Gary will turn the corner instead. Wanted to dump it to Alec. But there's a lot of standing right now in Pinnacle Bank Arena. Gary for the lead. And the rebound to Hepburn. Goodness. Still think playing through the post and playing out of double teams has gotten good shots. See if Chucky can get this thing settled for Wisconsin a little bit. Allen. Back to Chucky for an open three. Won't go. And the rebound Williams and Williams, some of these bench guys have. They've been so much more effective than the starting lineup. Here's Storr. Bodied and taken away. But back to back. Bad decisions from Storr. A bad pull up and a bad drive. 13 Wisconsin turnovers. Wiltshire. This game is tied for the first time tonight. All the way back from 19 down. Offensive rebound, Crowell. Hoiberg with the steal. That is his identity as a player. Hustle plays, toughness. Nebraska has not led. Hoiberg, ball taken away. Gary bats it up. Four to shoot. Wiltshire grazes the rim to Gilmore. It's where Wisconsin in the first half had success with execution collectively. They've gotten away from that here. Where Chucky Hepper needs to settle the group down a little bit. Here's Stoll. Hoists up a three. Off the mark. Fifteen to Husker run Badgers have missed their last six. Can you play defense when you're tired? Can you execute offense when you're tired? There are a lot of tired dudes on the floor right now begging for that media timeout next dead ball They'll get it Hoiberg drops it off to Mast. 
to shoot. Rink Mass working against Crawl. Leans in, won't go. Offensive rebound. Hepburn then with a steal. Hepburn lobs it ahead and a turnover again. Fifty-two, fifty-two. The maybe the most startling thing of this second half has been Wisconsin's carelessness with the basketball. A season high, fifteen turnovers in this ball game. Just lost their composure a little bit. There's Tomanaga looking for a dump down to Mast. Wrap around pass, and the extra pass was one too many as Wall gets the steal. Boy, Mast should have just gone right up. And they break Mast. Six foot ten. One foot from the hoop, just go up with it. Now Wisconsin looking to regain the lead. They've led by as much as 19. Wall blocked off on the baseline. Klesman, the open man for three. What a bucket for Max Klesman and the Badgers. And what strength and poise from Wall to pivot through a double team and find an open Badger. And Klesman moves off of double teams for three so well. Lawrence will spin it down to Gary on the baseline, and he stepped on the baseline. Turnover, Nebraska. Well, that's Tyler Wall just stepping through this double team, and Klesman does not stand. He moves to open spaces, and he has done that a handful of times. I still like playing through Wall in the post. There you go. Wall pushed out a little bit by Gary, but they find open Klesman again, and Max Klesman back to back triples and Wisconsin by six. Timeout, Nebraska. Factors Wisconsin has offensively. Pivotal moment in this game for Nebraska. Wisconsin's regained a little momentum. Nebraska had a long, steep hill to climb. Do they have the energy to come back again? Mast is fouled by Crowell, and he'll get a chance for a pair at the line. Just good job from Fred Hoiberg to clear out the whole right side of the floor. So you have what is an empty side ball screen. So that roll to Rink Mast, there's no weak side help that can come in and take that away. And Mast intelligently goes up strong and gets to the free throw line. Sixth team foul on Wisconsin. I hesitate to bring up foul disparity again, but Nebraska's yet to be called for a foul in the second half. You see how that whole right side of the floor is just wide open, Kevin? You just get that open pick and roll. It's really hard to stop. Mass perfect at the line. Two for two on that trip. Four-point game. And here come the Badgers. Do they go back into the post and invite that double again? I think they should. There's Klesman. He'll go right back inside. There's the double. Showed briefly, but Klesman now to Hepper. Ten to shoot. Here's Klesman. Little hesitation. High. Hooter drops down. How about that anticipation? Understanding Klesman's knocked down two threes. They're going to try to run him off the three point line. Puts it on the deck and a floater. Double figures now for Klesman. He's got 10. Here's Wilcher. Klesman all over him. Spins. A deep two for Wilcher is good. And a little conversation with Max Klesman after the bucket. <laughs> That's such a tough shot. He didn't even have a look at the rim at no, the very end. He is feeling it. Wall. There's Klesman in the corner left for three, and he hits, and now the conversation goes the other way. And give a big assist to Steven Crow. An outstanding flare screen freed up Klesman. And a one-on-one -on -one game is broken out between Wilcher and Klesman. Here's Max. That's a deep three. That's good. But great. Set from Fred Hoiberg to have Wilcher be the screener because you don't want to help off him. And Mass finally reigns a three from the top of the key. His first of the night, he has 13 points. Klesman again. Rebound into the hands of Wall, and he'll go to the line for one more. Kevin. What a carrot. Different players with 10 0 runs or better by themselves for the Badgers tonight. Wall can't convert on the three point play. It stays a six point Wisconsin lead. I kind of like Wilcher as a screener here. You're not wanting to leave him. You put him in some screening actions, I think you're going to get opportunities. 
Boy, he and Klesman are in a battle right now. Here's Mast. Working against Wall. Hoiberg begging for it in the middle of the lane, and Hoiberg is fouled. What a possession for Nebraska, headhunting and screening. And that got Wisconsin out of sorts as they were having to help because there was a lot of screens and a double team came and Hoiberg just cut right to the heart of that defense. Made sure he was going to get fouled. Fourth on Crowell who has no points and 12 rebounds. And Hoiberg needed every bit of that rim to get the first free throw to drop. Interesting sub. In Alec, out C.J. Wilcher. Second free throw won't go. Cradled by Blackwell for Wisconsin. Five point Badger lead coming up on three to play. So you got a really big front line. So I imagine you can maybe go one on one in the post if you're Nebraska. See where Wisconsin wants to go. Look at Sam Hoiberg making the catch tough for Chucky Hepburn. Wilcher right back at the scorer's table coming back in on the next dead ball for offense. Hepburn against Hoiberg. The step back jumper will not go when Williams the rebound. Hoiberg is a vastly underrated one on one defender. Now you don't the Wilcher. points with yeah. Wilcher on the bench. Here's Hoiberg. Ten to shoot. Mast. Getting some help from Williams. Huskers haven't had anything close to a look yet. Five to shoot. Williams rolls it home. The deep two, and it's a one possession game. It's a possession that was really going nowhere. But Williams with a big shot. It's not complicated. I think you just get it into the post and see how Nebraska handles it if you're Wisconsin. It got nowhere near the post yet, and the shot clock's at six. Klesman weaving and a foul. That'll be the second team that neither team had anything going on each of their last possessions. Wisconsin's getting a second chance here. Now Klesman in these base on out of bounds likes to get screens. If you're Hoiberg, you got to be ready to chase him. Chucky eyeing Bryce Williams under 10 to shoot. Screen comes out from Crowell. Hepburn needs a little help from Crowell. Two seconds on the shot clock. Hepburn's going to have to hoist a three. In and out. Hoiberg plucks the rebound. Really stagnant possession for Wisconsin. And a timeout taken by Nebraska. They have one left. Wisconsin has one left. The game has been tied once. Nebraska has never led. Each team with one timeout. Huskers have only committed two fouls in the second half. Mass thought about the three. Now he'll try the three. And it's tied at 65. And again, you got fouls to give, so you're able to foul, stop the clock. You do your offense defense sub. Here comes Josiah Alec. But Rink Mass has struggled for the most part of this game. A step back over the seven footer Stephen Crowell to tie it. Still fouls to give for Nebraska if they need to use them. Storr, can he find the range again? He'll try the three. Rims off to Williams. See if Fred Hoiberg will want to use a timeout to get Wilcher back in the game or if he'll just play. He's going to play on. Never and now there's the time. <laughs> <laughs> it has not been Tomenaga's night. One for seven, just two points. He's not hit a three. Mast will try from deep. Way off the mark. Rebound. Williams for Nebraska and a foul. Williams is going to the line and a chance to give Nebraska their first lead of the night. A one and one coming up for Bryce Williams who is one for two tonight, but sixth in the league in free throw percentage. Well, air balls and bricks are the toughest ones to rebound defensively. And Bryce Williams just pursuing it, and it's huge to draw a foul because that allows Nebraska to sub to get their defensive team back onto the floor as well. But now two big free throws 
for Bryce Williams. Badgers have one timeout. This is a one and one. Huskers have fouls to give still as well. Only three fouls in the second half. The crowd will tell you. The lead belongs to Nebraska for the first time tonight. They trailed by 19 points in this game. Down 16 at halftime. <laughs> 67, 65, Nebraska by a pair. Timeout Wisconsin, 27.6 to play in Lincoln. You don't foul as Hepburn or Klesmit or one of these guards, A.J. Storr, rising up for a shot. So you have to be intelligent with your fouls to give. Nobody's got a timeout possession error in Nebraska's. Here's Storr, turning the corner, driving on Mass. Gets the roll, we're tied at 67. And now Nebraska can hold for the final shot. Keep in mind, no Wilcher on the floor. Bryce Williams is probably your best creator just a little high pick and roll, potentially with Rink Mass for a pick and pop. Under 10 seconds remaining in regulation. Williams, bumped by Klesmet, the leaner, short. Rebound, Klesmet tips it, Wisconsin heaves it. The shot is short, and we are going to overtime in Lincoln. Husker scored 12 straight and won by 10, 73 to 63. What happens tonight as the sixth ranked Badgers need five more minutes against the unranked Huskers? Wall inside, back it goes to Hepburn. Hepburn penetrates. What a foul! Crowell misses and a foul. Missed the dunk, but a foul will send Stephen Crowell to the line. Well, what a play from Chucky Hepburn. The hop step, the drop down to Stephen Crowell, and take a look at it. And Bryce Williams from behind. Hard to tell if he got some arm on that block. Fred Hoiberg certainly doesn't like it. And the 74% shooter, Stephen Crowell, short. Another look at the foul called on Williams. Williams is going to come from behind. Does he get all ball? Ooh, that looks pretty clean from this angle. Crowell with one free throw to give the Badgers a one-point lead in the overtime. Wilcher off screens has been Nebraska's offense. Just Found his range late in that second half. Working against Crowell, who's playing with four fouls. Huskers have the lead. And you see you put Wilcher in the right corner. Klesmet's attached to his body. Mass has that whole side of the floor to drive and score. And a foul on Hoiberg. Remember, Huskers still have fouls to give in the overtime. Same play at the end of regulation here. A little handoff. Gary goes underneath it. And Storr inside has his shot taken away. Good play from Jawan Gary. Boy, Nick Storr has struggled in this second half. Just three of eight from the floor. I think his shot selection is waiting. Oh, wow. Five for Mass. Count it. And the foul. It's where the threat of the three-point shot gets you way spread out, and your five-man is 25 feet from the hoop, and he's made two 25-footers. So you have to honor him back there, and that opens up the back cut and the layup for Jawan Gary. If C.J. Wilcher doesn't have the second half C.J. Wilcher's had, is that as open as it is for Nebraska? Not at all. And same with Rink Mast. He still made a couple of big shots, yep. so you have to creep out on him. And Nebraska's got a lead of four. Two possession advantage. A minute plus gone in the OT. I like Wall going against Wilcher. I think that is a mismatch for Wisconsin. Try to explore that. Brown. To store. Here's Wall. Baseline drive. Mass trying to seal it off. Wall misses that one. Crowell crashing in, and a foul is called. It'll be on Wiltshire. 
Again, not a shooting foul. I don't believe it's on the floor as Crowell was coming through. Well, that's a tough one as saying Wilcher undercut Crowell. I'm not sure I saw it like that. Have to stay attached to Klesman here, Kevin. They love running Klesman off these screens. There's Klesman stripped out of his hands by Hoiberg. Ends up with the Badgers. Crowell Johnny on the spot. This ball's got to get to Wall. Store contested three. Oh, he hits! What a time for A.J. Store to splash one down. Big time shot from A.J. Store. Staying aggressive. Here's Wiltshire. Can the Huskers answer up one? Overtime in Lincoln against number six, Wisconsin. Masked from deep. Long rebound wall. Good box out. Really good. Not only was able to hold Gary off, but then track it down. Klesman gets it back from Wall. Drives the lane to the rim. Bounces off. Crowell's tip taken by Wiltshire. Oh, and a big collision. Klesman and Hoiberg. Both are okay. Huskers to work. Williams on the drive. Chucky Hepburn, tired, goes for the reach, gets the blow by, and Williams finishes. Ball's got to go to Tyler Wall. He's got C.J. Wilcher on him. Now he's got Hoiberg. Down on the baseline, Mass coming over to close off. Wall left it short, and a foul. Mass with the personal. Well, again, the ball's got to continue to go to Tyler Wall. If Hoiberg or Wilcher is going to be on him, you have to play through Tyler Wall. And he's able to pivot through contact and get to the free throw line. He got Mass to jump. And once he left his feet, trouble. Yeah. Wall to the line. He's two for three tonight. Tyler, a 69% foul shooter. Been put a lot more air on his free throws of late. Works for him. Yeah, it does. Well, you got to be taking deep breaths if you're Chucky Hepburn Klesmit. You've logged big minutes. I thought Hepburn had a fatigue defensive possession there with the reach. Got to dig deep and fight fatigue. One for two. Gary the rebound. Two point Nebraska lead with two to play. Once down 19, trailed by 16 at half. Crack back here, trying to get Wiltshire back to it. Lesmet chasing Wiltshire, 12 to shoot. Williams a little bobble, Hepburn nearly the steal. Seven to shoot, Nebraska needs something quickly. They'll drop it to Mass, matched up against Kelsman and the hook falls. Oh, the late switch. And a great read from Wiltshire to find Mass. Jumper, no good. Mast and Nebraska by four with the ball. Hepburn all over Williams and the foul called on Chucky Hepburn, his second. Well, here you see that Wisconsin hasn't switched, but late in the clock you get an emergency switch and Wilcher sees it. Mass rolls the smaller Klesman down into the post. Great read, great recognition, and a good quick sky hook from Rink Mast. Double bonus time now for Nebraska. Two free throws coming for Williams. And you know that Nebraska, if they've got to send somebody to the line, they want Williams there. And I'm not sure, a couple of possessions for Chucky Hepburn, just some mental mistakes. You didn't need to foul there. There's over a minute left. You defend it out. You're only down four, but instead you reach and you put Williams at the line. He's over 40 minutes on the floor tonight. I think you can In tell he's emotional yes. evening. They were up by 16 at the break. And remember, Badgers have not lost since tracking all the way back to 2,000 in that position. 
Two for two, and Nebraska putting some pressure on number six, Wisconsin. Largest lead of the night. Klesman needs help. A minute left. Storr loses it. And a foul on Klesman. Williams back to the line for a pair. An incredible second half display of toughness of chipping away at this thing from Nebraska and doing it with their defense to force this thing into overtime. And it's been all hands on deck. Every single Husker that has played has needed to make an impact. And I think Fred Hoiberg has done a nice job finding the right lineups, whether it's the defensive lineup, the offensive lineup, and pressing the right buttons for his group. You see the students behind them starting to run out of the stands. They are massing for a potential storm as Williams hits both free throws. 17 for Bryce Williams. A 6-0 Husker run. An eight-point lead. 45 seconds to go. Ball poked free. Winner gets it back. Klesman and the Badgers in a scramble. Crowell. Gary the rebound. Right to the hands of Williams. 30 seconds to go. Williams got some help from Hoiberg now to Gary. Clock running. 20 seconds and counting. Williams with the ball loose and a kick ball. It'll belong to the Badgers with 10 seconds to go. But the Huskers successfully melt all but 10 seconds of this game. An eight-point Nebraska lead. Hepburn will bring it up. His homecoming appears spoiled. The three won't go. Gary the rebound. 